All right, I want to talk about bodybuilding posing routines for men. Now, first of all, I have to mention that this varies with each individual physique. You want to pick the poses that fit your physique the best. Sometimes, and this happens a lot, you'll find a bodybuilding champion that you admire and you'll see that they do a certain pose and they look really great in that pose and then you'll try to copy that pose because you like that pose, but it may not work well for you. For example, if you had a Frank Zane type of physique, very classical, sort of lightly muscled, not a very big guy or powerful guy, and you've seen a picture of Franco Colombo hitting a most muscular pose, you might say, wow, Franco looks fantastic, and you may try that pose, but you don't have the same kind of physique as Franco, so it may not look as good. Or maybe you're more of a muscular bodybuilder, but you're a little bit narrow, and you see a picture of Lee Haney doing a, a very wide pose, like a, a lat spread, or his hands are, are held out wide, or something like that, that he may look great in that pose, but when you try it, it doesn't look good on you because you have a more narrow structure. You have to pick poses that your individual physique looks best in. So try to find a bodybuilding champion who has a physique similar to yours and look at what poses they do, and then you can figure out what poses you can use for yourself. So I'm gonna go through some of the, my favorite poses that I think fit my physique well. Now I have wide shoulders, big rib cage, I have a big upper body, and one of my strongest body parts has always been my back. I've always had a very wide lats. I've always had pretty good biceps too. So what I try to do is I try to pick poses that emphasize those strong points. I try to pick poses that emphasize my width, uh, emphasize the width of my rib cage, the width of my shoulders, and also poses that use my back or my arms. Because if I can find a pose that has both back and arm shots in it, those poses usually look good. So it's very important that you figure out your physique, you assess your strong points and your weak points, stay away from poses that make your physique look worse, and only choose poses that make your physique look best. If this means that your posing routine is only eight poses or 10 poses, so be it. Until your physique gets more developed, just stick with the poses that look best for you. So I'm gonna give you an example of a short posing routine I might do for myself. I might start off just standing relaxed and then go into a front double bicep because this emphasizes my width and my biceps, okay? Then from there, I may transition into a three-quarter back pose because this emphasizes again my arms and my back. From here, I might come up, hit another bicep pose that's also emphasizing my back. From here, I may turn around do a twisting arm pose like this. This emphasizes my biceps, keeps my waist looking small. From here I might go around and do a side chest pose. This emphasizes my rib cage and also my chest and my biceps. Turn around, go to the direct back pose, like a rear double bicep, and then hit a rear lat spread, which has always been one of my best poses. And I turn around from here, and do a hands-on hip most muscular, and then hit another arm pose, twist over here, hit another chest pose, emphasizing also the arms, and then finish off with another most muscular pose. I tried to make it look very smooth, going from the left side to the back to the right side, twisting from this side, twisting from that side, emphasizing the transitions, but also always emphasizing my strong points and staying away from my weak points. So these are a good example of how to set up a bodybuilding routine for Ben. So if you like that, be sure to check out this link to see some of the legendary exercises from some of the greatest bodybuilders in the world. And if you're on a mobile device and you can't click here, check the description area below, click the top link, and be sure to add your email so we can send you some more videos. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to leave a comment or question for us.